Welcome to another video of No System Reviews. Today we have this real realistic TV. So one of those sun TVs. This one does work. So on the top we have it comes with a light. We put it aside for now. On the top we have the controls, tuning. We have tuning and then band selection and on and off. We have the red, green, and blue. That's how we know it's a color TV. We have realistic pocket pocket vision 21. It's basically just like a basically a Casio to TV 2000. On the front we have the brightness and volume. On the side we have AVN. We have head headphones and then antenna external antenna in. We have tint and color. Then we have the power power plug. We have on the back we have the antenna and then the the two metal pieces for the backlight. On this side we have the the carriage strap and handle and thing. On the inside we have the L C D and mirror. Now if I just turn it on like this you can't really see it. That's why they made this attachment. Goes on like that. And there you can see it. Now, now I gotta get a video source for this. I don't know what video source I should use. I'm not gonna do a video source right now. This is not an in-depth review. It's it's pretty nice TV, it's an LCD, quality is pretty nice, but the mirror, there's like some rust that got underneath it, I don't know how to clean it off, it has an internal speaker, there's controls, I have no luck in picking up the local 87.7 on this, or the 88.1, but I know, but other TVs can't pick it up. It's um nice pocket TV if analog still in the air. I would definitely be using it. But I do have a little transmitter that I sometimes use with it. I don't use it for like hours and hours, days, like for like a few minutes. Night. But this is a nice little TV. On the screen, you can see we have the the VHF and UHF. And then the you can see the blue bar. There's like a pink line that's going up right now. That's the tuning. It has a uh, electronic tuning. So um, you could, if you were in an analog area, you could just turn it on and pull up the antenna and just let it run until it picks up a channel. The only thing I don't really like is that if you have a kind of weak signal not the strongest but not the weakest it is not going to pick it up perfectly it's going to it's just going to continue and go right past it it's really like a TV for a strong area it's, but it's a nice TV it was made in 1987 and it takes four AA batteries there's a kickstand you can see the see there's a radio shack so yeah that's my not really in-depth review of the real realistic Pocket Vision 21. I'll be sure to make an in-depth one in the future.